my god. This is just a tease because I'm gonna do a full unboxing video of this is one slime shop and I have three more. So let's just do it. Sorry, uh happy new year, happy Christmas. This is from Daily Slimes. Got three of them. It was all packaged very nicely. Bubble wrap. Usual stuff. And these are in cute jars. I got three of them. As I said, I already said that. Anyway. So I guess we'll start with this one. This one's called Heather Duke. And it says... different language. And this one's a bean soupy slushy little boy. Oh, it's a thick boy. There's some fallout for this one, I guess. It's really hard to get out of the thing. Ooh, that fallout though. Okay, yeah, so there was a bit of slime at the bottom. I'll be sticking in my hand. So this is uh, sushi beads and bean soup beads, which is, this is my first time trying bean soup beads slime. There's a little bit of slime in it, but, and as you can see, there's a lot of fallout. I mean, it's not a horrible fallout, but you know. This one says, this is one that is a clear slime, obviously. It's very thick and horrible. That's probably why some of the beads fell out. It says it's unscented, but I don't know, it's probably just the stuff they use to make it. It smells very, um, I don't know, clean. It's very hard to describe what it smells like. So this one's all cloudy. Very cool. Alright. Oh boy. This one's a bit sticky. Yeah, this one's sticky as heck. No, this is very unsatisfying. It's not my fault, I promise. These have been sitting since Christmas, so since before Christmas, actually. It's 
Okay, there it goes. All these do come with borax, but I just didn't mix any before I started filming. So. I think all of these third lines, this one is very pigmented. This one again says unscented. The website says it's unscented. But. It's, this one has a more strange smell. Very picky about my clear slimes. As you can see, they are messy as heck. That's better. It's a bit better. It's beautiful though. Look at that. It's so sticky, it's not even com coming out of the jar very well. There we go. There it is, there it goes, coming together. I don't know what this one smells like, but... about that. I did not know that was going to be so sticky and messy. <laughs> oh, this is the creepiest video ever. If you're still watching this, thank you. Thank you for bearing with my just did not want to activate at all. But you can see it's kind of clouding up, so Oh Very sticky. 
see. I know. Well, that went well. So I'm just going to move on to the other side. Oh, this one was called High School Sweethearts. Get in there. I'm just going to sit that there. I'll whip it a bit. Okay. Alright, this one's called, this last one is called Lester Liqueur Jelly. And it says, a bulb, flavorful, shimmery beverage. This one was, it, like the name suggests, it's supposed to be a jet. Oh, gosh, that's going to be sticky. I don't know why it's appearing blue on camera, but it is purple. Like a violet purple with shimmers in it. Glitter. It is a very, um... It's a very, it smells strange. I don't know what the, oh it has um, beads in it. But yes, this one's very melted. As you can see, it's supposed to be a jelly texture, which I, my favorite type of slime is thick jellies. And this is not that. It is it is appearing really bright blue on the on the recording. Definitely has big snow in there. This one is reacting a lot better than the other ones, I think. It's very loose though. Not sure what type of glue was used, but it's not. The smell, it isn't nearly as strong. It's very strong. I think it's maybe a, I don't know if it's a perfume or anything. It, it kind of smells like, I want to say an alcoholic drink. But it doesn't have that pungent alcohol smell. I think the Heather Dukes 
was my favorite out of this bunch, mainly because it didn't need any activator. This one was an okay slime. It just wasn't my favorite because the loose texture, the scent is very strong. The stickiness is not her fault. It happens when it ships. Naturally, it happens when it ships. So I need another one. I have a link to shop down below. I don't think I would call this a jelly texture. Well, thank you for watching the world's most cringiest unboxing. Not really unboxing, because the box is on the floor. So, happy new year, happy 2020, finally. And stay tuned for more slime videos. So, you have three more slime shops to review. Again, yeah, this, this is just a mess. I'm just trying to get it off my hands. Bye.